You totally should go and watch a Lego movie too. Why? Because I'm Batman. Campers, my name is Paul Hughes, I am the Lord of Leisure, and welcome to another Aftermath video where, upon watching something at the local Cinematic Emporium, I come back and talk to you about it right here in front of a webcam for all of you. <laughs> Today's Aftermath video is all about the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Do I think you should go and watch it? Yes. Right, that's the Aftermath over with. Cheerio! Bye! What? What are you still here for? Go and watch the film. What? You're not just going to take my word for it that you should just go to the cinema and watch it. You're actually expecting me to say why you should go what? I want to read this! You know? It's got some big words and I'm struggling with them. You know? Go what? Go, go watch it. You're not going anywhere, are you, until I actually say what it's about and why you should go and watch it, should you? <sighs> Fine. Okay. Right! So, The Lego Movie 2, the second part, uh, features an awful lot of the cast from the first film, which has Chris Pratt, Elizabeth Banks, uh, Will Arnett, uh, Charlie Day, uh, Nick Offerman as Metalbeard! And Will Ferrell, although he's not much, he's not in it much, actually, I should just say, uh, at this point. Uh, the film follows on directly from the first film. So if you've not watched the first film, what, first of all, what's wrong with you? And second of all, what's wrong with you? Go and watch the first film and then go and watch the second film. Uh, uh, look, okay, maybe I should just stop for a second and say I'm a huge fanboy of the Lego film uh, when it first came out in, in any case it was so much of a, a welcome change and as such a lovely story ridiculously that came out of it that in essence when they announced uh, the Lego movie 2 I pretty much was just going <laughs> all about it Hence why I'm telling you to go and watch it. So take this with a huge pinch of salt and fanboyism when I'm telling you to go and watch it. Um, it I'll carry on now. Uh, I'm not going to do too much of a spoilers or otherwise. In fact, this is probably... St I mean, I tried to do this as a short aftermath video, but apparently no. I can't just say go watch it. <sighs> I spoil you lot, you know. I really do. Uh, in any case, The Lego Movie 2, as I said, continues directly on from the events of the first film. Uh, tiny spoiler for the ending of the first Lego Movie, which you all should have watched by now, is that um, the forces of Duplo come to invade Britsburg right at the very end after Lord Business has been dealt with and things just go to effectively a Mad Max dystopia where you have several different sets all screwed around with uh, to make um, effect effectively uh, an apocalyptic setting of where the second movie then carries on from. And this is absolutely fantastic because everyone else is all gritty and, you know, worn down and they've changed dramatically. Emmett, which is still fantastically voiced by Chris Pratt, is still his happy, cheery self from the first film. Just going around going, la 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 la. <laughs> and it's just, it is absolutely fantastic, honestly. Um... They're on the lookout for the uh, forces of Duplo uh, in case they come back. And obviously, the way they've done Batman with the tires on his shoulder and really looking, uh, you know, like he is in a post-apocalyptic uh, universe. And yet still has the time to do a bat symbol in a mountainside and everything else. It's just, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Um, so, this is all within the trailer while I'm about to tell you in any case. 
Um, several of Emmett's friends get kidnapped, like Metal Beard, Benny, the Spaceman, Spaceship, and uh, Unikitty. They basically get kidnapped and taken away to the Sistar system, where uh, untold horrors may happen to them unless Emmett get you know builds a spaceship of his own and then goes and flies off and saves them. He meets uh, a guy called uh, Rex, Rex Danger Vest. Because why not? Uh, and <laughs> I think they were a little they were a little bit too on the nose with Chris Pratt and Raptors. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not saying anything more than that, but a little bit. Um, various things obviously uh, come afterwards. Uh, and at the end of it all, do they survive? Do we have another kind of endearing twist where uh what happens in real life is actually then what was being born out in the story yes we do we we absolutely do and that was one of the things that was absolutely fantastic in the first lego movie where um you know they they took what was in essence a very very simple premise of childhood and then with the imagination they they brought this whole other thing to bear and that is what happens here as well. And it's... it. I thought it wouldn't get me the second time. Kind of did. Kind of did. Kind of made me... Th and this was actually pointed out to me. Because uh, I didn't actually go to the uh, film by myself. Oh no! <laughs> I had company. And it was pointed out to me. That, again, a very sim simple pr uh, premise of what was happening in childhood uh, and so forth was then effectively the entire basis of the film but it wasn't it's something that's never remarked on in other kids films and so again how dare they actually do it not once but twice and i loved it i absolutely loved it now fanboyism not uh, withstanding it is. It it. It didn't hit me as much as the first one did. I don't think you could ever get uh, whatever the heights were with the Lego Movie. You were not going to get with the Lego Movie Two the second part. Absolutely not, because obviously now you have a bit of expectation as to what will happen, where it's it, it, where it's taking place, what other factors are going on uh, outside of these characters it made of Lego but it still has a lot of jokes just boom 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 like that um, it has several musical numbers now of which some of the lyrics are just completely on the nose uh, with this and I tell you what uh, some of them were just fantastic especially and tiny tiny little bit of this is a spoiler uh, everything is not awesome just hearing that and then hearing some of the lyrics that follow with it it just it it fitted so well with what was going on um it, it kind of it kind of got to me uh, a little bit and I, I gotta be fair i was laughing for a hell of a lot of the film now again fanboyism notwithstanding they were pretty quick. They were uh, actually quite funny. And, it, and for a kid's film, they were... They, they got away again with quite a bit. That, uh, you know, might raise an eyebrow here and there. Because one of the difficult things with kid's films is to obviously balance it. So kids love it as well as uh, the uh, suffering parents who probably are forced to take their progeny to said things in order to shut them up for a couple hours i i get i get that but it again it it, it is a true family film what they've done here again uh the animation is top notch the story is actually pretty damn good once once you basically watched it all the way through then you go oh and something so simple then became this whole intergalactic thing uh j just to uh, uh point back to what happened in the trailer so again not too much of a spoiler um it they they had an awful lot of in jokes it, it is definitely um self-aware more self-aware at this point because of what happened in the first uh, lego movie where they've kind of right revealed this is the type of thing that's what's happening and then 
some of it does threaten to give the game away uh, too soon with what they because they did it so well with the super glue the craggle in the first one that then they uh, the things that are going to happen in the second one when they uh, say what it is it almost gives the game away exactly what is going to be happening but then even then when when things happen in the film it's still pretty damn good and actually quite thoughtful uh there are a couple of cameos uh in this as well most notably from someone that you might be familiar with and it's not too it is pretty much on the bloody nose when you find him uh what's going on and, it, and <laughs> Again, very well done. And I also like the nod uh, to Marvel uh, as well, where they, the reason why they got all DC uh, Comics characters and no Marvel, they just don't return our calls. It's just, it's addressed right there, and then they just carry on. It's just, it's, it's <laughs> it was very, very good. Um, the animation top-notch, uh, as I said, every... It is... It is not as good as the first one, I will definitely say that, but that's kind of because they pretty much did uh, so much in the first one that to try and top that, it was going to be difficult in any case. But, damned if I didn't enjoy it. And, yeah, it is one that I would definitely go and watch the cinema again. So, after all this waffling, would I recommend that you go and watch the Lego Movie 2 at the cinema? <laughs> yes a thousand times yes in fact why did you even stick around mm, mm, go go S cinema go go now go <laughs> oh dear i don't know right anyway that's all that is i, I i'm just gonna go now I have been Paul Hughes, I'm the Lord of Leisure, I'm going to go and pick up my Captain Underpants book now and carry on reading while you all go and watch the Lego movie too. And until next time, campers, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye!